Hey folks, Angie here. And I just wanted to share with you a, a little something that we just got from our friends over at Open Routers. I know I've had several people that have contacted me and have asked what are the best settings for me to be able to use. And Open Router has provided us this really cool tool within their system. So if we come here and we go to browse and one of the ones I've been using is actually Mistral Medium. Now, if you come here to the page, you can come over now here to parameters and it's going to tell you the optimal settings for using each of the different open router LLMs. So you can see here, we've got this P10, we've got P50 and we've got P90. So what do these things actually mean? So P10 actually means that it is the settings that the majority of the users are using. So the majority of people are using about a 0.5. I know it's, it's running into this over here. It's rather large, but so most people are using a 0.5. Now this P50 here means that is the median for what all the users total usage is. So that's what kind of the average is this P50 here. Now P90 is what the power users are using. Um, to the ones that are using the tool the most, they're using uh, a one. So this one's 41 and this is 0.5. Actually, that might be 0.9, but it's hard to tell. Actually, I don't have to fix that, hold on. There we go. Yeah, this is actually 0.9, this is one, and this is P10. Now this is what, this is called temperature. And it actually has a pretty good definition of each of these settings that you can use. Temperature, top K, top P. If you aren't sure what these things mean, not only does it tell you here, it also on their YouTube channel for Open Router has some pretty good videos that explain what the different settings mean. So you can go and check those out. I also believe Future Fiction Academy has covered those in the past as well. So now that we know, that we have these temperatures here, where do you put them? Now I've popped over into Novel Crafter and I'm gonna show you where you can make the changes for those settings for your writing. If you are in a, this is actually my Not Safe for Work Romance GPT that I shared on Monday. But if you come down here to where it says prompts, then you can come over here you can either do it for the chat or you can do it for scene feed completion. And if you come here to general purpose and let's say we're going to use GPT-4 Turbo, if you come in here, you can't actually type anything. It won't let you do anything. So how do you change this? You come up here and you hit clone. So now you have this general purpose copy and you can come over here and you can edit your temperature. Okay, so I've got the OpenAI GPT-4 preview window open off screen. And so we're going to come in here and we're going to go with the P50 or the median numbers. So come in here and I'm going to change my temperature to one. Now top P, we're going to put that at one. Okay and they don't have max tokens. So that's not something you need to worry about. Max tokens is the maximum amount of tokens that are gonna be returned to you. For the frequency penalty, they actually have a zero, so we can leave it blank. And then the presence penalty, they also have it zero. So if we were gonna go with the P50 or the median for GPT-4 Turbo, then this would be the optimal settings. So. We can go ahead and just close that back up. And we did this as a chat, so we can come over here and we can just start having a conversation. And we would select the AI, it actually defaulted to that because that was the one at the top of the list. And we'll put in here, tell me about the abduction trope. I always manage to hit enter instead of what I'm supposed to hit. And then and now it's going to answer me and tell me more about the abduction trope. These, again, these are the optimal settings that they have found with all the people that are using the various LLMs. 
And from this point, you can tweak as long as you understand what the the different things mean. If you understand what temperature does to your writing, if you understand what top K and top, top P, what they do to what you get back, then you're good to go. You can tweak them to get back what you want. And then you are all set. I hope this is helpful and I will talk to you guys again soon.